why... Why was something like this needed? Like, what... What was deficient about the current method that was being done? And that the, something like MVK needed to be needed to be around. Um, I don't think that the need was really, you know, because the OpenGL driver wasn't that great. It just mm -hmm. we wanted to have a Vulkan driver, right? Um, but there, we also think about the idea of dropping the OpenGL driver in favor of Zinc. Mm -hmm. Um. Because it might just be faster at this point in time, because you know more work is done on Zinc to make it actually run fast than ever was put on the OpenGL driver, and nobody really cares about the OpenGL driver. So um, the performance will probably not improve there anyway. So um, yeah, and I think uh, one of the big problems of the GL driver is that ne nobody really actually figured out why the performance is bad. Um, there are some, you know, su like assumptions and there are like ideas on why it's bad, but you know, nobody actually put in the time to actually performance optimize the entire driver. Um, I've heard a little bit about Zinc here and there, but I imagine a lot of people listening probably have no idea what that is. So briefly explain what Zinc is. So Zinc is an OpenGL driver inside Mesa. Mm -hmm. And instead of talking to hardware, like the Nouveau driver, it's talking to a Vulkan driver. Mm -hmm. So um, we have this so-called Gallium framework inside Misa, which is just a you know, driver abstraction layer. And the OpenGL driver is using this abstraction layer to implement functionality. And Zinc is translating this abstraction layer onto Vulkan. And um, is able to provide not just OpenGL, um, but also in theory and in practice other APIs on top of Vulkan as well. Okay. So theoretically, if the OpenGL driver didn't suck, let's just assume that. Is there yeah. some sort of overhead of doing it through this method? Is Or is it, like, not noticeable? Like... Is this a obviously it makes it convenient to write it, but is it a good idea if there was more resource to do the OpenGL driver directly? Um, I wouldn't say so. Um, at least not anymore. I mean, Marek from AMD spent a lot of time like reducing the CPU overhead. Mm -hmm. Um, of Gallium and, you know, the Red DNSI driver. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if you really want to, you know, reduce the overhead, that's entirely possible. Um, I think some abstractions might be not perfect, but we are also, like, free to change them as we go. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not, like, a fixed API we can't change. Uh, change. So if, if they're, like, performance problems, somebody can look into them and, you know, fix all the drivers or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's also not like um, that Gallium is actually a library. It's really just an API that driver exposes directly mm -hmm. to the OpenGL implementation. And the OpenGL implementation mostly is just responsible for tracking the state of the OpenGL context. So if you, you know, bind a texture or something, something has to track this uh, stuff and then um, at some point, you also have to call into the driver to, you know, draw stuff or allocate memory and this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned in there, how? What, what do you got? Is that is that tea in there? What do you got? What do you got in the? What do you got in the pot? Yeah, it's tea. I just noticed you keep feeling. Like, how much? You, how many of those have you had? Uh, it's not much. It's like seven hundred milliliter the entire. Uh, I just keep seeing you like, pour a bit still... more in there. So. Yeah, it's, I only pour like ah. a little. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you had like three or four cups. No. <laughs> it's not that bad. But yeah, yeah um, I, um, I was sick like last week and my throat is still a little bit. So That's fair, that's fair. It helps with um, speaking. Yeah, totally understandable. Um... 
So you mentioned Zinc would allow you to support like other APIs. Uh, what else? I, you can probably see where we're trying to direct this now. Uh, what else would this let you support? Um, OpenCL, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's already merged and everything. Um, if it works, it's great. Um, I actually have uh, like ran the OpenCL conformance test on Red V, mm -hmm. and it's passing. Uh, so it's even feature complete and everything. It's it, it's great. <laughs> So, um, oh, go on, go on. Yeah, there's still like, at some point, I plan, plan to make like an official conformance um, mm -hmm. submission. But for that, I need like a second driver it runs on. It, it has to be an independent one. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure what exactly that means because, you know, we have various working drivers of various vendors inside Misa, but I don't know if they are like independent enough. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm also looking into making it work of, on NVIDIA and mm -hmm. 